What's going on YouTube? John here with Dig That Beat. I'm Mike. I'm Gary. We're going to do some detecting. We're in our own hometown. I got some yard permissions lined up for us. We're going to see what we can find. I went out a little bit earlier before I met up with these guys, played around with a new detector I've got, which I'm about to show you. I got four nickels, three wheats, and a little button. Um, so that happened. But a guy, Benjamin, with XP was watching the channel. He's in their marketing department, I guess. Wanted to send me that. He sent me a DS2 to use on the channel. So it's gonna take some learning. Really nice detector. I love their first DS. Uh, had really good luck with that. So thank you, Benjamin. I appreciate it. I sell these. I can save you guys money on them. Just reach out to me. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see what we can do today. And we'll pick this back up in the field. Do what? It, yeah, it may be. I don't think they're terribly old. <clears throat> it's super noisy right here. But so far, the dais is really nice. I mean, I'm in heavy trash and it's picking coins out like crazy. There's some big old piece of iron out there. But just had a coin signal right here. Again, in heavy trash. I'm under power lines. I'm on the corner of a intersection. But I got this huge aluminum dinosaur token. We've dug these before on the channel. Pretty cool though. I'll get it cleaned up. Some post some pictures in there for you. We're walking over to Mike. He said he got a cool relic over here. Dude, I can't oh, read it. Oh, it is cool. JB Ford Company. Car related, huh? I don't know, really. Uh, it's got an arrowhead on it. Did you see that? Yeah, I've seen the arrowhead. It's the Indian out there. That is cool, dude. Mm -hmm. I like it. The JB Ford Company. My something Michigan. That's going to be pretty cool, dude. Yeah. That's got to be 50s, 60s. Yeah. What do you think? That's cool, dude. Good job, yeah, dude. That's the job, coolest man. thing today for sure. Hey, uh, Pretty cool. Look at that. Get your eyeballs out. Still ain't gonna help him any. What number glass? Oh, is that's neat. Can you tell what you're looking at there, Gary? Yes. That's not a coin. Postage guaranteed. So you oh, really? drop it in the mail if you lose it, I guess. Hey, I'll drop it in there neat. first time. Huh? <laughs> Good job, Mike. Yeah. Nice. Ninety-one. Yep. Right here on the DS2. You can hear it's real chatty. I haven't adjusted any settings or anything. Um, I did put it in all tones, um, but I had a 9091, and I'm gonna have a little fake ring here. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be aluminum, but it's fine and stuff. I mean, it's really, really nice. I like it so far. It kind of reminds me of the their original DS2 or DS1. I got a little aluminum ring. That's cool. Somebody was wearing it. But Gary said he's got something, so I'm gonna go and show some cleaned up pictures of this yeah, ring. And now we're gonna walk over uh, and see what Gary's got. Yeah. No, uh, it was a memorial penny in the hole, but the something else was in the there. The hole was in there with it. The hole was in there with it. The hole was in there the with, the with, the wow. with it. Like a donut. <laughs> Just laid on the plug right there. Just some coins. No, that is cool, man. Get that flopped out of the plug. Oh, yeah. You lucky dog. Back to back. <laughs> Bonus marbles. Is, man. Marbles have a lead day for a long time. This is almost the color of the one Charlie found that time. No, your, this one's got some purple. His didn't have any purple. Cool. His was green. Is it that green? Yeah. yeah. So Gary had a memorial penny here, probably 60s or 70s, if I had to guess, and some yeah. kid lost their marble with it. All too common, the, the case with those. But that's always fun. You'll be chasing a coin, get the coin, then find a bonus. That's awesome, man. Good we'll take job. It. Appreciate it. Take that any day. So I gained these permissions maybe a week ago. Guy was out here cutting grass. He was over at that house. Turns out he owns this one as well. He's redoing the houses. Very, very busy intersection. They're right here on the side of the road. Got a surface find. Somebody's cell phone. It's not turning on. Don't, I mean, it could be the homeowners. Again, he was out here doing some yard work, cutting grass. Someone right here on the corner of the porch. Probably just a little cheap prepaid phone, I don't know. Maybe not. 
Maybe it's something he's looking for, but anyways. Okay, again, I apologize for the loud noise of the vehicles around me. Um, I had a good sounding silver dime signal here. I'm pretty sure silver dime's gonna hit around a 93 on the desk in the, the settings of the kilohertz I have that in. But instead, it's gonna be a state of Georgia, some kind of little pendant or something, I don't know, a little charm, something or another. Cool though, not trash. So yeah, there you go. I can't tell exactly what it says. It looks like it's got a little car image up at the top of it. It's gonna be pretty cool to clean up though. All right, we'll be back with you guys in a few. Okay, so right over here, I got a Memorial Peony. Had another similar type signal here. And it's gonna be ring number two for today. Again, not precious, but it has some little skulls all connected. It's not aluminum though, but it's some kind of crap metal. But the XPDS2 is nipping some stuff out. I knew I'd like it. I, I love their first one, so this one is uh, not disappointing at all. So Benjamin, thank you very much. Again, guys, I sell these. I can save you guys money. If you're looking to get a very nice metal detector, fully waterproof, lightweight, very slick, a very, very good option, um, reach out to me. I'll, I'll hook you up. But yeah, there you go. All right, so we did some door knocking. No one came to the doors. So we've been looking at this church. They own this old house. And there was a group of people outside. I got speaking with them. One of them actually knew Mike, so it worked out really well. They told us to go for it. We're getting a few wheats. And I think Mike's on the board finally. It took all day. Well, I take that back. We didn't get out super early, but uh, it's took ever since we've been detecting today to, to get on something to shiny. And I think that's probably what he's got. <laughs> Ooh, kitty, kitty. Come here. Come here. Yeah, he's a butthole, isn't he? It's a big area too, man. It's gotta be more. Get out of the nets. Somebody hit that down before I found it. Did they really? Somebody hit it with a shovel. Yeah. Who would do that? That cat. Mm -hmm. cat About to hit it again. <laughs> That's a friendly cat, man. Hungry. Mike is on the board with the Rosie. It's going to be a uh, first year, 1946. He's got a mint. I don't think so. It's about it's where. It's got a nick. It's got a, a nick right near the mint. Does it? Or where the mint would be, so I don't know. It could have a mint, but definitely a 90% silver. Save the day, man. It's been tough today. There's a boy out here. We ain't been oh, here Oh, yeah, I know. Good job, man. We've already got weeks, too. So. Thank you. Yep. Get another one. Yep, yep. So Gary said he got an unexpected high tone. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a wheat. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Nice clean one. 1901. Oh, got a bug on me. Indian head penny. Did not expect that from him. Uh -uh. Dude, that's crazy. Sweet. Nothing Thanks. else in the hole? Nope, that was it. Huh, that's interesting, man. I like it. Yeah, we'll take it. Good job, Gear. No more wheats. <laughs> Walking up to Mike. Last video, he did one of his favorite finds yet, which was an old Tootsie toy and mainly, race car. Mainly because it's the size of the last time. Yeah, big one. Because that's common there. Yeah, this is a smaller one, but it is a I still love it. Old Tootsie toy type car. Looks like a little roadster or something. Yeah, or maybe a Corvette. Cool. I don't know. That's cool. Yes, yeah, so well, it almost looks like a Jaguar. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> it is cool. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, 
I know. I like more nickels are like luck. You can't pick them out. So we moved up to this church. Not a lot of signals, but Mike had a 17. And when I heard him giggling, I was like, man, war nickel. And that's just an oddball <laughs> signal. Yeah. And sure enough, he's got a war nickel. 1943, probably going to be a P. Yep. 35% silver, man. Yeah, you're right. You don't dig them often, but you got one today. I know, right? Thank you. Congratulations. That's uh, about, I don't know, 150 pull tabs before you get one? Yeah. yeah. They sound just like, they sound anywhere from a nickel through pull tab all the way up to a zinc penny. Mm -hmm, they do. So, yeah. Good job, man. Thank you. Hope I got everybody in the shot. We're back to gear shop. I'm gonna show you everything we found. Uh, we stayed close to home today. Didn't get out to like two o'clock, I think it was. Yeah, it so we was only out of maybe four or five hours. Tonight's daylight saving time. Uh, we lose a, gain an hour. We set the clock's back tonight. So tomorrow, it's gonna be getting dark, 5.30ish. But we're gonna show you everything we found. I got a ton of stuff. Um, pile of pennies, 13 dimes, nine quarters, pile of nickels. I got eight wheats, nine total. I'll give one to the homeowner. Some miscellaneous tokens here that I'm gonna have to clean on. Some kind of leg, internals to a clock. This little Georgia pendant or something. Model T valve stem base, uh, the nut off the bottom of the valve stem there. Little button, two fate rings here. One has some skulls. And then a uh, little watch. Cool. Watch is good. Yeah, right? it did. Gary heard that, it sounded like a silver quarter, but a lot of targets today. And a flat nail that's really skinny. So yeah, Mike, show me what you got. Look at uh, clad pennies, clad dimes, clad quarters. I got five wheat pennies, I gave one to a neighbor kid. And a uh, bracelet, somebody's name starts with K, can't make out the rest of it. Kid. A little Tootsie car, been rear-ended, somebody rear-ended, it's probably why they trashed it. A knockout that sound like a silver dime. A cool uh, arrowhead necklace charm or something. Got a silver dime, 46. 46. And uh, what was your? 43. 43. P. P. And a uh, watch gear, and I don't know if that's a watch gear, it's kind of thick. It's a gear. And this is some of the random junk that I find. Thought you might want to see it. a bunch of those in that I know, in, what is uh, it? Watch, uh, I don't know. Fort Sonia. Yeah, we got like a tobacco tag tied or something, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. He told us what it was. Piece yeah. of a clock, clock, watch. watch. And I wondered what this was. I thought it was a buckle or something, but it ends up being a zero that you nail into the side of your house. It's pretty cool. Anyway, that's my stuff. Good deal. Not much on this side. We found Donna's tags, both of them. That's fine. I'm sure she's missing those. Good pile of clad, a couple of odds and ends, a putt putt token, three wheats, one 1901 Indian, and three quarters of a really cool marble. That is a like marble. That's it. I wonder what that was for. For sure. Donna's tag. Yeah. Mm. Odd to both find both of them. Donna. Where'd you find them? Both of them in the same spot? Mm hmm. Oh, All right. that sidewalk strip for that house. It's interesting. But there you go. That was our hunt. It was a good day of digging. Again, I can't thank, uh, thank Benjamin with XP Metal Detectors enough for sending me out a DS2 to use on the channel. So far, I like it. I like the first DS, so I'm sure that I like this one just as much. It's going to take some more swinging behind it. There was a few questionable targets that I uh, had to check with Equinox just to kind of see what I was listening to. But overall, I'm very pleased with it. Pick the stuff out of the trash. Um, I'll be using it a lot on the channel. These guys can use, use it if they like. I don't know. It's a big change from the Mind Lab, though, so we'll see how that goes. But you'll definitely be seeing it again on the channel. But if you guys uh, could check us out on Patreon, it helps us out making our videos. Need metal detectors equipment? I can save you some money on that stuff. Just reach out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Push bell for notifications. Here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. All right, what's going on YouTube? John here with Dig That Beep. I'm Gary. It's a new day. Mike couldn't get out with us today. Uh, he's got some stuff he's doing around the house. We're back at the same uh, church that you've seen in the first video that you watched earlier. There's got to be more out here than two silvers. Um, super trashy area, so we got to take our time. But we're going to go across through here and see what we can find for you guys. 
So I'm walking out to Gary. And just to let y'all know, I'm a die hard mine lab fan. I hope to try the man of course soon. But the XP DS2 is no joke. Um, it is really, really good. So far I've got two wheats in 1920 and 1930. And for the area, some really old coins are coming out of, out of the ground. All the wheats here have been super old. And plus Gary got that Indian recently. But he's got a relic. So we got what's left of a relic. He got a one piece, now two piece relic. Oh. Uh, that came out first. And then we identified to be truck. a Jeep. A Jeep, old Jeep. Makes sense. Yep. It's fitting. And one wheel. <laughs> and our cat friend is back. I don't know. What does it say on the wheel? Does it say Tootsie on the wheel? Something toys. Can't really tell the and the cat was in our last video too i don't know if you guys are gonna see this video or last video first but either way um yeah touchy toy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. good job man appreciate it what's the matter buddy man that's some serious calls yeah all right you let go look at him just make sure you don't get that in my leg buddy I'll be no, screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get on it, you can hear it. Yeah. But you would miss it swinging miss normal speed. Swinging. So we're just sitting here uh, looking at this. Um, it's hard to imagine something being faster than the Equinox, but I think the Deus actually is. We're getting a lot of targets where swinging normal speed with the Knox 800, you don't hear it. And this Deus is picking them up. I've already got five wheats, these three keys, but a couple of the wheats we listened on the Knox. And once we got on it, we could hear it good. But if you're just normal swinging, it's something you may very well miss. So, I mean, the Deus is really, really performing well. The Deus, too. Um, but, again, I've never tried the Equinox 900, the 700, or the Manicore, which are all new detectors by my lab. But so far, I'm really, really liking this Deus, too. So, yeah. And that last key there is probably a 50s. forgot to mention Ford key. Um, Gary's son's car they're redoing is from the 50s, and it's the same type key, so... I'll put a close-up picture of that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm probably on week number seven or eight. This XP Deus 2, I'm telling you, this thing is blowing me away right now. I'm really glad that Benjamin with XP Metal Detector sent this out to me for some testing. Again, I sell these. Um, Gary's over there. I just got this and I thought it was a token. It still may be a token, but I wiped on it and that thing's cleaning up. It almost looks like it's a foreign coin and some of those have like a lower amount, amount of silver content than like 90%, like a lot of the US coins. So that could be a silver foreign coin. It's hold, I can see a hole at the top. I don't know, but it's got weight to it. That may have some silver in it. Hmm, interesting. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, this could be a foreign coin with a small, smaller amount of silver content in it. Uh, you guys will know soon. I'll pop some pictures up on the screen so you can see it. But uh, yeah, really liking this new detector. I do okay. believe Gary's going to get a little bit of camera time today, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for lack of trying. I don't know what it is. It's real decorative. It is. Huh. I don't know what that come off of. That is cool, though, man. Probably pretty at one time, wasn't it? A little ashtray, maybe. That's what I was about to say. Could that come out of a car ashtray? On, like, the door handle? You know, that used to be on the door handle? It's too fancy for a car ashtray, I would think. I don't know. I don't know. Good job. Thank you, sir. Okay. We're going to do a quick in the field wrap up for you just because it's getting dark and it's sunday night we don't have a lot of time um both got work in the morning but it was a really good evening uh, we was only out what an hour and a half mm -hmm. two hours maybe got this clad here i got this coin that i'm not sure on yet you guys already know because you've seen cleaned up pictures three keys this uh 50s four key being the coolest and i got nine wheat pennies which is crazy um the xp ds2 is really doing well out there it's really trashy but gary Show them what you got really fast. We got nine memorials, one clad dime, one clad quarter, 
a tiny bent up D buckle, an E D buckle, and then whatever, whatever this thing is. Not sure. No wheat pennies for me. John got them all today. That's the way it goes. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, um, make sure you go check us out on Patreon. It does help us out making our videos. We do a lot of traveling, put a lot of time into editing. So it really helps us out, I promise. If you need metal detectors equipment, I'm a dealer. If you need the XP DS2, hit me up. I also carry my lab and Garrett. Um, I have the new 700 and 900 Equinoxes, the new Mana Cores. Um, so yeah, just give me a call. I'll treat you right, give you a good deal. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Turn on the bell for notification. And what else? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's right. We'll catch you guys next time.